London over the past week. I haven't brought the rain for once. I gather this is probably the first time uh, that we'll be playing cricket in the sunshine. Um, and indeed, although we brought uh, the wonderful game of cricket uh, to the world, the other thing we're now doing is, in fact, with SEMA and our um, association with the AICPAs in America, uh, we have formed a joint venture for the Certified Global Management Accountants. Um, and this is an international accounting qualification. Uh, it, as we've done with uh, the cricket tournament here, it's uh, started really, really strongly. And indeed, in the past two years, we now have 45,000 CGMAs to add to the nearly 200,000 SEMA members and students uh, worldwide. Um, we've had a really interesting year as well. Uh, since my predecessor was here, we've updated the syllabus. We produced a whole set of uh, global management accounting principles. Um, but that's really, I guess, for uh, the day job and, and during the week. What you see here is a group of accountants and people from finance background really encouraging everybody to uh, have a great day. I just want to close by saying that uh, I've got involved in the past in the uh, return match, the cricket across the pond, and I must say, just to relay to you guys here, uh, the young men that come over, and indeed we may see young men and women uh, in due course, but the young men that come over really are fine ambassadors uh, for your city. They meet uh, our uh, local uh, borough mayors and indeed they meet the uh, City uh, uh, of London Mayor as well. Um, and while they're with us, uh, they also get to visit Lords uh, and the Oval, hallowed cricket spaces, uh, and to receive some coaching. Um, I'm sure that uh, other candidates who are here today and other people playing cricket would love to follow them. Um, but in, if I could just close by thanking everybody, in particular uh, those involved in the very strong SEMA Canada branch for organising today's events. Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, mayoral candidates, dignitaries, players, cricket fans and friends. It is my pleasure to be here today on behalf of CIBC and many of my colleagues, I see the CIBC team is over there and their families are over there. So uh, on behalf of all of us, uh, welcome to the SEMA Mayor's Trophy Cricket Tournament. Cricket popularity, as everyone spoke, has grown substantially across our region in the past few years. And CIBC is pleased to play a role in increasing access to junior cricket through sponsoring SEMA's annual inter-school tournament and the CIBC Trophy. We have supported this program since its inception because it encourages children in our communities to give active while introducing new fans to Canada's fastest growing sport. Today's tournament brings together corporations, media, and other organizations for some friendly competition while raising funds for youth cricket programs across GTA. CIBC invests in sports because it's a healthy activity for our children. I'm sure many of you who are associated with children, and I have four of those myself, it knows how important that is to invest in things that are healthy, especially at this time, and giving them a chance to experience this game while joining in the spirit of competition and celebration only increases their enjoyment. It is our pleasure to support an event that gives young people the opportunity to put their best foot forward while playing and having a great time. On behalf of CIBC and all my colleagues, good luck to all the team that are here today and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Reza. Please welcome to the podium the British Consul General, the Honorable Jonathan Dart. Thank you very much. Um, I'm here representing the, uh, the British government in Ontario and of course Britain and Canada uh, share an enormous amount together. We have the same language, we have the same Queen, we have the same uh, democratic traditions uh, and it's great to see that uh, with the uh, popularity of cricket we're now going to start sharing uh, some important uh, sports together. Um, 
I've, as I've said before, cricket uh, really embodies the, the spirit of the Commonwealth uh, and it's wonderful to see it uh, spreading here uh, through the diverse city of Toronto. I particularly though today wanted to pay tribute, this is, will be my last um, Mayor's Trophy unfortunately, this is the fifth and last, I wanted to pay tribute to uh, Raniel Mendes of SEMA. Raniel, if you just uh, show yourself. Hey, he's over here. Uh, Raniel has put in a, a tireless amount of, of effort, supported by uh, Vinod and a, and a large army of, of helpers. Um, but without, I can honestly say, without Raniel, uh, this would not be the event it is today. And uh, I thank you, Raniel, for the support you've given me as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jonathan. And we do speak the same language, but it always sounds so much better when you guys do it. Uh, and also speaking of Renel, um, second only, I think, to the uh, person in charge of the famous people players uh, as somebody you can never say no to. <laughs> Please welcome to the podium the chair of the Toronto Police Services Board, Dr. Alec Mukherjee. Happens to coincide with my term as chair of the Toronto Police Services Board. And we've been having so much fun in both spheres, this trophy and the police board, that uh, it's hard to recognize that 10 years have passed. Um, I want to wish the game all the best in the next 10 years and beyond. I also want to congratulate and thank Seema, as well as certain people. Uh, John mentioned Ranil. I also want to recognize Keith Jeffers uh, and Vilod, who have worked tireless to make this game happen and to bring it to this level. So thank you all. This cricket is important to Toronto Police Services Board, of course, for all the reasons that Martin mentioned in his remarks. Uh, for us at the uh, Toronto Police Service, cricket has been a tremendous vehicle for bringing people into the organization to reflect the city that we are and to build relations across identities, cultures, and so on that uh, we didn't have. So um, the game is of great importance to us. Um, I hope that we will have a very good uh, trophy match today. And as I all say, may the best team win. And that is usually the Toronto Police Service. <laughs> I believe our last speaker is the director of CGMA, Barry Payne. Barry Payne. I'm last, but never mind. Um, so I'm here representing the American Institute of CPAs, as you can tell from my accent today. Um, in the best city in the world, uh, with the best game and sport in the world, having grown up with this sport. It's absolutely wonderful to uh, be here today. and. I just wanted to say, guys, as I've watched you uh, in the fields, uh, playing on the wicket, it's amazing the parallels to uh, management accounting that, that you have out there uh, playing cricket. Leadership, agility, uh, precision, flexibility, all of these things are the principles that you can take back into the office and back into life. So uh, it's a, a wonderful day to play a game of cricket. Do enjoy it. And as I was preparing a few words to, uh, to say to you guys, uh, my American colleague said, you've got to congratulate everyone at SEMA for knocking the ball out of the park. And I thought to myself, that's not going to work here. <laughs> not going to work at all. Well done for knocking the ball and getting a six, guys. Remember, my only advice from south of the border is when you score a run, keep hold of the bat between the wickets, <laughs> all right? Um, enjoy the day, and it's uh, a wonderful occasion. Thank you, everyone, for putting this on, and uh, thank you for making the ASCPA part of it. And there is one more speaker, a very good friend of mine who joins us on More in the Morning every single morning, and a guy who has been a great cheerleader for cricket, and an especially wonderful connection is that when we send junior cricketers overseas, he makes sure they look darn good. From Tom's Place in Kensington Market, 190 Baldwin Street, here is Tom Mahalik. Thank you very much. It's truly a pleasure to be here. And I'm glad to say that the turnout is always great here, it's spectacular. The only change I would like to see is boy three-piece suits. <laughs> we have to put you guys in a Tom's Place suit 
and you will see that you will constantly score. I would also like to give my condolences to the English soccer team. All these wonderful people come here from London, England, all over the place, and look what their soccer team does. Rooney scored that goal. Everybody said, wow, what a goal. I could have my suit on and walk into that ball and score the same way. And I do see our cricketers, these wonderful young men, when they go to London, England, they wear the Tom's Play suits, and yes, they play in those suits. I would like to thank the city for being a great partner to us. I would also like to thank, I know this is not the time and place to thank them, RBC for their involvement, for sending those young boys over, over the sea, and we have a fabulous time. Renil Mendez, who has been my mentor in cricket, he's been teaching me the game for the last 10 years. And I'm in the same spot where I was 10 years ago. But the only thing I can tell you is that the only Canadian that has been asked to ring the bell at Lord's was Renil Mendez. And if you ever attended Lord's, and if you see the beautiful structures with all the history, all that history, it's fabulous, it's fantastic, and the field is gorgeous. And they asked Renil Mendez, the president of Lords asked Renil, Renil, could you please ring the bell? And Renil froze. I had to speak on his behalf, and I said, of course he will ring the bell. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure for me to be involved with the cricket. It's a great partnership between the city and SEMA. SEMA is a wonderful organization. I got to sell them suits all the time. So continue coming here, and please make sure you look up Tom's Place. Thank you very kindly. And John, you have been outstanding. You allow me to speak on the radio, and I don't know how to read or write. And it's truly a pleasure. CFRB is a great station. They mentored me over the years, and they always tell me, Tom, please stop singing. Do some dancing. <laughs> Listen to the radio Monday. I'm going to do some dancing. Thank you, Tom. So now is where we introduce our teams and toss our coins, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I'm fascinated by the fact that the first demo round of ranked amateurs, for the most part, um, is private sector versus public sector. Although in my notes it says mayoral candidates can decide which team they wish to play for. So, <laughs> this will be the acid test of our candidates, won't it? Uh, let me call upon Raza Hassan to introduce the public team and the private team and for the tossing of the coin. Hassan to uh, come to the stage to introduce, to formally introduce your private sector versus public sector teams. Here we go. Okay, thanks John. And if I get people's last name wrong, I do apologize. I'll do my best. Uh, so, uh, the mayor's team, uh, the captain of the mayor's team is uh, uh, Councillor Doug Ford. And in his team we have Mahes, uh, we have Councillor Sting, Arvin, um, who is one of the candidate, Councillor Anthony Peruzzo, Councillor Parker, Councillor um, Doug Ford, who is the captain, Adam Wong, Andy Byford. So, okay, they're not here, sorry, my mistake. Uh, do we have uh, Leslie Wu, uh, Alok Mukherjee? So these are all in the mayor's team. 
In terms of private sector team, uh, the team is captained by Jonathan Dark, uh, the British uh, Council Journal. And in his team, we have uh, David Suknaki, uh, John Tory, Olivia Chow, and uh, we also have uh, Philip Clory, um, Bill McDonald, and now some of them may not be here, Weston Pavi Binning, uh, Tom Malaik, myself, uh, um, Representative uh, D. Pereira, um, then we have Barry Payne, and also, I'm not sure if he's here, but Jeff Roberts. So that's, uh, Jeff, you're here. So that's uh, in the private sector team. And I will now ask uh, Doug. Sarah, you are, I guess, whichever team you want to be in. So you decide. <laughs> I guess you can be in the winning team or the, be in the mayor's team, I guess. <laughs> Anybody else who wants to be in the team that I didn't mention? OK. If not, uh, we'll have uh, Doug Ford and Jonathan Dart come out and do it. Yes. Oh, I, I said the order, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.